Well, how we doing? Nice. Nice to know white people still doing well. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm glad we made it. I'm glad we're here. I'm glad COVID's like done a little bit. I don't know. I, I live in New York, and it was weird watching COVID in New York City. You know what I mean? Because New York City is the dirtiest place in the f world, right? <laughs> And then COVID hit, and we were like, we got to clean up the city. We got to sanitize the poles of the, of the subway. There's been booty juice on the subway for centuries. Nobody gave a f Nobody cared, dog. You, know? you can see it on the subway. You're just like, oh, there go the booty juice right there. Almost stepped in it, you know? <laughs> now we care. It's hypocritical, man. It's hypocritical. It's wild. And there's other New Yorkers trying to police each other about COVID, you know? You know? We're, all, we're all dirty animals, you know? Walk past a Bridge, some dude crossed under bridge. He's like, hey, yo, put your mask over your nose. What are you doing? Yeah. He's just like, sorry, troll man. I didn't see you there. I'm, my bad. <laughs> like, I was on a train like a week ago, and there was this guy on the train. He, you know how the train is. You know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> you walk to the train, just a dude. He's like, welcome, welcome to the train. Welcome. <laughs> Sit down. Stop being weird. You've seen it before. You know. <laughs> you're just like, you're right. I'm being weird. I'm up. I'm. You're doing what you're supposed to do in New York City. I get it. Yeah. This dude was on a train, as he should be, you know? <laughs> and, but there was another guy on the train who didn't have a mask on who started coughing out loud. He started coughing out loud with no mask on, which I don't know if you know, is illegal now. He can't do that anymore. He just might as well die. But yeah, this dude was coughing, and the dude who was saw this dude coughing. <laughs> and he was like, hey, yo! What the f are you doing, man? <laughs> the wildest shit I've ever seen. I didn't know whose side I was on, you know, like it was, it's a weird feeling to agree with a dude with his dick out, you know, like, the funniest thing he said is he, he looked around, he was like, yo, these nasty out here, am I right? You know, like, <laughs> oh man, yeah. I love, I love riding the train in New York City, I do. I love running to crazy people on the train, I love it. Cause in New York, it doesn't matter how crazy they are, they're always New Yorkers, you know what I mean? Like they'll be doing crazy, like blah, let me get some cheese or something like that, you know? But then they get to their stop, and they're like, oh, that 42nd Street? And then they get off, and you're like, wait a minute, dog. You got somewhere to be right now? Like, you, you was just asking for cheese with no shoes on. Where the did you possibly be going, you know? And he's like, oh, I got to go be crazy on the F train. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I love the idea of that, too. A dude just busted into a train cart, <laughs> just being like, sorry I'm late, everybody. Sorry I'm late. I will get to my corner and the schedule. I'm sorry I'm holding y'all up. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a fun city. I, I'm originally from Chicago. Uh, anybody from Chicago? Nice, nice. I always ask, because I used to rob houses in Chicago, so, you know, <laughs> just making sure there's no victims. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm trying to be a better person, man, trying to grow up. All my friends are trying to grow up, too, and I'm young and I'm black, so statistically, that means all my friends growing up were aspiring rappers. Um, <laughs> And we're reaching our 30s, so I get to see them, like, give up on their rap careers, which has been hilarious. <laughs> One of my friends, he, he had to give up his, his rap career because he had a baby, and his girlfriend was like, yo, you got to cut this rap, help me raise this little girl at home. And he was like, fine, you know? He called me sad about it. He was like, yeah, had to give up the rap game. And I was like, probably for the best, you know? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, sometimes it's not about the life you chose, not about the money or the hoes. I was like, are you rapping right now? <laughs> yeah, you got to hang up, dog. You can't, you can't just be Dr. Seuss in your way through life, you know? He was like, I'll never quit. This is crazy. I don't know. I, I'm from a rough neighborhood, though. I am. And, like, everybody in my neighborhood is trying to be progressive now. Everybody's changing, you know, but it's happening fast. Like, I saw a crackhead recycle when I was back home, you know? <laughs> like, he had a glass crack pipe in his hand, and it broke, and he was about to throw it in the trash, and he was like, no, no, no. <laughs> this is glass, you know? <laughs> and he found a glass recycling container, he put it in there, and I was just, it blew my mind. Crackhead recycling, and he looked at me, he was like, can't smoke crack in a world that doesn't exist. And I was like, what the? <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. I was like, I've never had this much clarity in my life, dog. I was like, let me smoke some of that crack you smoking. Let me get some of that. Yeah, man, trying to be a good person. I, I, sometimes I use things for, like, my moral guidance. You know, you try to latch on to things. Some people, like, listen to podcasts. People join groups. I don't know. I used to believe in religion. You guys, anybody religious in here? A couple people. All right. Nice. That makes sense. That makes sense for Montreal. That makes sense. Everybody else is like, we're going to hell, dog. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I used to believe. I just, I just didn't find it relatable. You know what I mean? Like, because we, we always got these stories in church about little perfect baby Jesus in the manger. He never... 
never peed or threw up on anybody. He was just a perfect baby, you know? And we fast forward to 33-year-old perfect Jesus giving people advice that nobody asked for, you know? <laughs> we never got those in-between years, those, those Jesus years, you know what I mean? We never got, like, DUI Jesus, you know? <laughs> Where they're like, Jesus, you can't drive. He's like, you don't know me, mother <laughs> know who my dad is like we, we never got that never got teenage jesus coming home late you know what i mean his mom be like where are you where were you at jesus and he's like you don't know me you virgin <laughs> he just levitates up the stairs <laughs> he's like i hate it here I, I, if i was reading that bible i was like i fuck with jesus i know who this dude is i i get it man i don't know but my moral guidance really comes from my mom because i feel like she she raised me she i was raised by a single mom you know anybody raised by a single mom Nice, nice. Did you get the sex talk from your single mom? No, no, and that's good, it's good. If you're a single mom in here tonight, skip the sex talk, all right? Uh, it always goes left, because what happens is it starts off with good intentions, right? But then you kind of just find out what your mom's into. Like, it always, it always makes that turn, dog. Like, it always... <laughs> She sits you down, you know, and she starts, she's, my mom started with good intentions, you know, and she was like, yeah, you know, make sure everybody's comfortable, make sure everybody knows what's about to happen, make sure there's consent, make sure the vibe is there, you know. Also, protect yourself. Always use protection, make sure they have protection. And also, you don't gotta be like a jackrabbit all the goddamn time. You don't gotta be doing all these hard, fast little strokes. Slow, slow stroke of every now and then, you know. <laughs> Caress her hair, look her in her eyes, let her know you're there. And I was just like, I am nine years old. I don't know what the... It's happening, <laughs> you know? <laughs> then from the back of our apartment, I just hear a dude like, I get it, Sherry, I got a lot to work on. God damn, you know? I was like, oh, this ain't about me, this is about you and Craig. I see what's happening, you know? You guys have been great, my name's Ethan, thank you. <laughs>